Hi guys, welcome back to Nebula Fox Toy Reviews. Hey, it's the first video of July, so you know what that means. It's anime figure time. Yes, as I announced in my uh, one of my earlier videos, it might have been my top 10 of 2022, it might have just been the first video, first review of the year. But yes, um, the first video of every month, I'm going to try and do it so it's an anime figure to sort of swap things up. So, the anime figure for July is this guy, Muzan from Demon Slayer, my favourite character from Demon Slayer. And I'm not looking forward to the end of the anime. I have read the manga, so I'm not looking forward to the end of the anime. Uh, this is the McFarlane Toys Muzan figure. I do believe it is more just a statue. It might have some, like, very, very basic articulation, but it does seem to be more of just a figure that sits on your shelf and gathers dust. I won't exactly say looks pretty and gathers dust, because his face is like, ugh. Uh, it, it, it needs a bit of work. But it was super cheap. It was, like, £13 from... £13? Yeah there 13 pound from forbidden planet and uh, because um okay i'm a sucker for anything muzan i had to get it so yay can't wait to get this guy open so um yeah let's head on over to the review table and <laughs> crack the demon king out of his box uh I'll, i shall see you over there okay so here is the figure. We shall take a quick look at the packaging before we break him open. The packaging is nothing special. We've got the nice open window design so you can have a look at the figure but you can't touch it. Uh, up here we've got the McFarlane Toys logo. And we've got the Demon Slayer logo. I don't eat it in different languages. And then down here, Muzan Kibutsuji. Uh, don't eat it in English. And on the back of the box, once again, we have Demon Slayer and McFarlane Toys. We have Muzan's name. We have uh, a nice picture of Muzan himself. We have socials. We have words. Photos are of action figure prototypes. Product specifications subject to change. Please return the packaging. Photos are of action figure prototypes. What photos? This photo? That is the action figure prototype and this is the stuff that you go... I, I would prefer this action figure. Because damn... He's hot. I don't care what any of you say. He's my favourite character. Mm -hmm. Let's break him out. Let's get him out. I am going to end up destroying this packaging. Really want to destroy the picture. There we go. Okay, it looks bad. It looks so bad. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go. I'm get the scissors down here. There we go. Let's just get that out. And then we can get him out. There we go. Put the box down there. Have I just... I uh, have creased that picture. The stickers probably wouldn't want to come off anyway. So. Here he is. You gotta, there we go. Can he... Is that all he can do? His neck is on some sort of joint, but it doesn't really want to move. I think it's on some weird sort of malleable ball joint. It do it does kind of want to move, but not really. His arms are just on that. What is the CE on his back? Why is this on his back? You could put it on the, underneath of his shoe.
There he is. There he goes. That's all he does. Poof. Fist bump. Let's get a closer look at him. His hair, his hair is awful. No, 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 not the hair, the face. It's the the face, the the face. Doesn't look as bad as the pre-rendered shots that I've seen of this figure, just like the digital versions. But it's 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 bad. Not the not the worst. I would still say the Funko Pop is worse, but yeah, the actual eyes themselves look alright. But the 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 print looks alright. But they, at the same time, the eyes just seem too far apart. And the, the, there, we'll look at it from the side so you can see his nose. This is his, his pointy nose. But other than that, the 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 face lets it down. But other than that, the rest of the figure looks okay. The hair is done quite nicely. There we can see all the detail on the hair. His hat can't come off. Yeah, the detailing on his jacket is all right. And he's got his nice little white tie. I do like the um, like the pattern on the inside of his jacket on his jacket collar. I like that. His red buttons, his pants, and his shoes. His entire bottom half has no articulation. His bottom half does absolutely fuck all. His top half. Can do that, so he can be a zombie. Mm. He can be a zombie. His wrists can rotate, so he can drive a bike. <clears throat> That's about it. Oh come on, camera! <laughs> That's it. He didn't even come with any accessories or anything. He didn't come with any extra hands or anything like that. But um. Yeah, I don't want to move this neck joint too much in case it breaks. Because McFarlane figures tend to break. But yeah. Um that 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 is Muzan. It kinda looks like the arms are meant to be able to move outwards as well. Just because you've got this big rounded piece of shoulder, so it looks like that is meant to slot in there. But it does not want to. It can it can just do that. It, these arms can do full three sixty though, so that that's that's a that's a bonus, I guess. He's basically just made to stand there and look pretty. He's, he's just meant to stand there and look pretty, literally. <gasps> Is he scuffed already? Mine seems to have scuffed, been scuffed already, and I haven't even done anything with him. Oh well, here you go. He brought you some chocolates. But yeah, it, it, from a distance, it looks okay. And I need, I also need to remember that this is a dirt cheap figure. I don't think it was £13 cheap. I would have happily paid a tenner for it. I, I, I would have been happy at £10. For, for a little bit more, I would have, ex, I would have liked um, some leg texture, even if it's just basic. Um, it's just a basic hip joint and that's it. I would have been happy with that. But as it stands, he, he's alright. I would probably say wait until he goes on offer and then get him cheaper. If you are a fan of Muzan. But me being me, I am too much of a fan of Muzan that I couldn't wait. I had to, I had to get it now. I had to get it when I saw it. So um yeah. That's honestly all I can say about this figure. I cannot think of anything else to say about it. Get it if you're a fan of Muzan. Get it if you find it on offer for cheap. Otherwise, you're going to pass. But anyway, 
Thank you very much for watching, guys. And I shall see you all in the next video, whatever that'll be. Bye.